Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This week I thought we would take a look at another vehicle that was recently released on the BeamNG mods page uh, for BeamNG Drive, which is what I'm playing right now. The uh, ultimate driving simulator, I guess you could say. Physics based at least. Uh, this is the uh, FPS Trapez, or Trapez, Trapez, uh, however you say it. It's a Polish vehicle. Uh, basically described as a versatile family limousine uh, produced by Fabrica Producto Samo. Okay, I can't say that bit. It's basically a Polish car. Uh, it may not be the cheapest, it says, but it's pretty unreliable. <laughs> However, if it is to break down, it's only in front of the house. That's what the official description says on the mods page for this vehicle. So I thought I would give this a, a go this week and i'll try and just showcase the highlights of this vehicle there's a few different variants that the vehicle uh is available in um within the game so um it really does look the part we'll just hop inside here and you can see the interior as well is actually quite well done i'm just adjusting my seat here and my track ir head tracking so just bear with me a second um, as we take a little bit of a look around the interior as well so this is basically a four-cylinder vehicle, rear-wheel drive, uh, independent front, uh, solid axle rear. You've got a few gauges there in the cluster. Um, I think the oil pressure uh, gauge uh, doesn't actually work, but um, it's not a big deal, I guess. Um, you've also got the rev counter, the tachometer on the far right. You've got the speedo on the left-hand side, and then you've got the fuel. Um, you've got a clock and a temperature gauge as well. So. Um, I am driving using the uh, Logitech G27 steering wheel uh, H shifter and pedal combo today. So you can see how I'm, I'm giving the, uh, the clutch brake and gas there, a nice analog uh, test. Um, just having a look through the interior here, a very nicely done vehicle indeed, even though this is actually a beta. Um, the description of this vehicle as well continues to say production of the vehicle started in 1978 and ended in 2002. Just zooming out here to see where we're at on the map. Got quite a little bit of, um, well, quite a bit of area, I guess, to drive today. So this uh, industrial map has quite a few areas to uh, explore today, so that's good. What we'll be doing initially is just a little bit of a durability test. So just see how this thing handles and uh, just how much punishment it can take. Now, knowing that this is beam ng drive um, all, all manner of things can go wrong here the engine can get starved of oil can overheat can seize the engine we can blow a transmission we can break an axle all sorts of things can happen so let's see we'll just put it into first gear here let the clutch out and just go for a nice leisurely drive for the moment into second there and into third. This is the 1.5 litre carbureted engine variant. This is one of the earlier variants of this vehicle in the game. I'm not exactly sure what vehicle this um, is based off in real life. I don't think it's called the FPS Trapez, surely. Um, although I could be wrong there. I probably should have researched it, but oh, there you go. Just gonna go to the left here. The engine um, is actually got quite a bit of torque down low um, being that it has that carburetor and only a 1.5 litre but actually um, it does manage to pull some pretty uh, wicked skids as you'll see in just a moment as well so just making our way around the uh, industrial complex I think this is map in BMNG drive here Working our way through the gears. I think I'll go off to the right here. Just trying to pick a nice little place to get into some trouble. There's always trouble in BMNG, you don't have to look very far. <laughs> Five speed manual. And yeah, performance overall is actually pretty good. Obviously, haven't really gone too far just yet. Let's uh, pull in to the left hand side here just going to this little uh, side road just gonna adjust my seat a bit more just one moment okay so we can actually look outside and we can try doing a little skid here first gear 
dump the clutch. Uh, not bad. One tire fire. Let's try that again. Not bad for a little 1.5 litre. And being rear wheel drive as well, can, uh, can probably do some fairly interesting little drifts and things like that with this vehicle. Can really catch you out too if, if you're not careful as well. Now the, the handbrake is actually quite powerful as well. It will swing the rear end of the car around like a pendulum if you're not careful. Let's just try that out. And then as you can see the rear wheels just go crazy there. Let's go onto the dirt here. Actually I might just turn around to be honest. Oop. Got leaf springs at the back so quite utilitarian suspension there. Not really a road holding beast by any stretch of the imagination. More of a family car than anything. Definitely got some go. All right, let's uh, let's turn back around and continue on back from whence we came and into second. Get a bit of chirp there. Oh, uh, I honestly didn't see that there. I probably uh, got a bit of damage already. That's unfortunate. Um, but. From what I've seen so far, this vehicle is actually quite robust. It will stand up to quite a lot of abuse, so... It's quite a, a sturdy little vehicle indeed. More handbrake action there. Oh, stalled it. Start it up again. Touch in, first gear. Let's go! Oh no. Keep it on the road. Oh, my steering's a little bit off now because of that incident that we just had. The wheel alignment's been affected a little bit. Uh, kind of bent up the dashboard a little bit there as well you can see in the middle there all right let's try going over this bump Hollywood style and see what happens oh got some road rash <laughs> uh, no, I was hoping it would tip back on its wheels that's annoying now the engine actually will probably seize if it runs for too long in this orientation because uh, it might be getting starved of oil like this, but let's uh, just turn the engine off and step outside for a bit. And actually this is a good opportunity to look underneath and just see how the underpinnings of this vehicle have been set up. You can see here we've got the typical um, control arm independent suspension here, McPherson strut. Actually, it's got a, it's got a double A arm. Uh, sort of a double wishbone set up there. You can see the uh, manual transmission here as well with the little drain bolt. And you can see this big long drive shaft that leads to the rear axle with the differential there. So it's a solid axle with those these springs that I mentioned. Quite a solid vehicle indeed. Now, um, you can see the fuel tank at the very rear of the vehicle too. So probably prone to fires if there's a rear end collision. But anyway, I really want to probably, uh, I think we should tip this vehicle back over because I don't think, um, I think there's still quite a lot uh, of life left in it. I'm just using uh, the little mirror here to uh, try and tip this thing back over. Unfortunately, I've caused quite a bit of uh, yeah, quite a bit of damage here to the roof of um, of our little FPS. Unfortunately, oh well, still drivable. Let's hop inside and uh, see if we can't keep going. The gauge clusters all messed up. Well, hey, it starts. Oh no, it's not moving. Something stuck. It's trying. 
Okay, I'm just going to uh, see if I can push the vehicle. I hope that there's no critical issue with it, like a drive shaft or something, who knows. I've just caused a bit more damage there, unfortunately. Now I'm stuck. <laughs> oh no. Alright, so here we are again. Um, yeah, there's definitely something wrong with the vehicle. It's not quite moving. It looks like the brakes are locked up there on, on one side. Actually, let me just pump the brakes a bit. Yeah, it's trying to go. Something's holding it back. Oh, there we go. There we go. I just tried pumping the brake a bit more and there must have been like a brake that had seized up or something, who knows. Ah, it's not looking very uh, good though, it's a bit worse for wear right now. I'm not going to tempt fate there anymore, I'm just going to see how far we can get. Looks like the suspension has collapsed on one side, so we've definitely got a bit of a lean going on with the vehicle right now. Bit of a shame, but you can see how... let's try this. Oh. Okay, I think that's done it. Okay, oil pan damaged, engine damaged. Okay, so I think what what has happened here is we've damaged the oil pan. We're probably losing some oil now, so that's not ideal. Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Should have just kept driving. <laughs> you can see the engine smoking now, so I think we're definitely losing some form of fluid. I'd say the radiator's busted, um, along with the uh, oil. If this were real life, you'd probably see a, a big uh, oil slick being left behind by the engine right now, but yeah, that's not modelled in the game. Okay, let's try a side impact this time. Don't want to mess the engine up anymore. Okay, that's not going to help things either. Just thought I'd do a quick little uh, handbrake turn there and hit this pole. Okay, it looks like I'm actually stuck on the pole here, so just bear with me a moment. trying to get this thing unstuck keep seeing messages saying engine starved of oil come on oh hey okay we're free we're free oh, I can hear the engine doesn't actually sound very good anymore well the vehicle itself is not looking that great I think it's seen better days I don't know what do you think leave a comment below <laughs> um, I think Probably what will happen here is the engine will probably seize up. That's what will kill this. Ah, oh, no, I can see on the temperature gauge there on the screen, you can see the uh, temperature gauge is right in the red there on the right hand side. Oh no. I think it's run out of oil now. Oh, oh, no. Oh, engine seized. Yep, engine's cooked. And I'm just trying to start it now. The starter motor is uh, can't turn the engine. You can see here I've got some pretty wicked uh, damage here when we hit that pole just now. Uh, yeah, I probably would have done myself in if this were reality. <laughs> interesting, interesting. Okay, well, um, yeah. Look at the underpinnings and suspension actually still in fairly usable shape. It's just a shame we hit that pole and uh, drained the oil out. So anyway, I think it's time to try one of the other variants. Now this is the Coral, uh, just having a look here, uh, Coral Trusty. Uh, there's quite a few different ones here. There's a Police, there's a Fast and Delirious Turbo. Uh, we'll go for this Coral Pre-Lift and choose a nice beige. This is also the 1.5 litre engine and standard equipment. The difference with this one is that it does have a bit of a facelift. And it's got some different wheels and different styling, but otherwise mostly the same body-wise and interior. Just uh, bear with me here while I try and get this thing going. Uh, in the game with these different variants, um, there is the overhead valve engines, which I believe we are driving here. And there's also the, the, the double overhead cam 1.6, the fuel injected versions too. And we'll just head straight into the action, I think. Oops. Oh boy. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well. Okay, it didn't take that very well, but I think overall, overall it's doing okay so far. Let's try this bump. Just like last time, uh, front suspension's not looking good, but I tell you. Oh! You know, the radiator is still fine after all that, and 
It looks like... Yeah, okay, we've damaged the oil pan again. Such a robust vehicle, I'm really surprised. It's, uh... <laughs> I feel like I'm in James Bond here, and, uh... Um, I'm in some sort of very, very... ridiculous car chase. Oh, that front left wheel is completely toast. Try the bump once more. Still gone. Try another bump. I've actually uh, lost all steering control here, so I'm at the mercy. Ooh, okay, that was close. Always to that pole. And into the trees. Okay, <laughs> let's, uh, let's change the map. Let's try a different locale. And, uh, and I feel like pulling a caravan. Maybe we'll try that out. Okay, easy, easy. Okay, um, I've connected up the trailer now, this caravan, and got yet another variant of this thing. Um, this one I think has a carburetor as well, I'm pretty sure, and just, I think 1.5 or 1.6, something like that. Um, got some nice Hawaii plates on the trailer there. Okay, let's see how we go. Um, Slightly different variant, but yeah, not the turbo or anything like that. You can see there's nice houndstooth interior that I've got here. How lovely. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's slip the clutch a bit. Yeah, I can definitely feel the weight on the vehicle as I, this is first and into second. Ooh, okay. I'm hard on the throttle in second. It's not doing anything. Back to first, back to first. Ooh, come on, come on. There's a hill coming up here. Let's go, let's go. Up the hill, up the hill. Uh, can we grab second? Oh no, that was a bad idea. Back to first, back to first. We're losing speed, we're losing speed. Oh, there's a bit, there's a bit of a bump. Oh no, we've lost it. We've lost all our momentum. Oh no, that's it. No. I just know if I stop accelerating, yeah. Ah. Okay. All right. I think I'll finish this video off by maybe losing the caravan, and uh, we'll just try doing a bit of a a bit of a rally run, I guess you could say, trying not to hit anything here. Just trying to see how spiritedly this thing can handle around some of these uh, curves and twists and turns. This is the uh, the jungle map as you can probably tell in BeamNG Drive, so... Ooh, okay, okay, all right. Hard on the brake there, almost lost it. Oh, <laughs> got a bit of oversteer. I must say, this thing is very fun around these little twists and turns. cut in. Suspension is very robust, it's basically rock solid. It's um, Unless you hit something really hard, you're not going to stop this thing. And third, come on. Ooh, what the? What the? Okay, alright, almost lost it there. A bit of a reservoir there. Back to second. Rev it out, rev it out. These little carbureted engines are pretty good actually. Can only imagine what the turbo must be like. Leave a comment below if you'd like me to uh, try out some of the other variants of this. There's the police version, the turbo version that I've mentioned before as well. Um, a few other little versions there as well. There's like a sports model which is like low to the ground. Very happy with this, even given that it's a beta release. I really can't fault this thing right now. I'm sure there's bugs with the vehicle, but um, I've left a link below in the description if you'd like to uh, to download this vehicle and check it out. If you've got BeamNG Drive, the game, I definitely recommend it. It's it's a bit of uh, late night fun here that you can have, especially with a nice steering wheel and pedal and shifter setup. Ooh, getting so close here to stacking it, I tell ya. right on the edge of adhesion here. Back to second again. 
This little 1.5 likes to rev, that's for sure. Over the bump. Not too bad. Inside wheel's just going crazy. This thing needs a bit of a limited slip differential, I think. I wonder if that's actually an option in the game. Might be worth looking in the configuration for the vehicle. Oh no! Forgot to use the clutch there. <laughs> oh, I didn't use it properly. You can actually uh, completely destroy the gearbox if you don't use the clutch. Okay, I think we'll call it here actually. I don't want to tempt fate anymore. I've had a pretty clean run with this car. And uh, I think we'll just um, back up a bit. And yes, thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. Please like, comment, subscribe. Please remember to uh, check out my socials as well in the description. Um, lots of stuff going on behind the scenes lately. And uh, yeah, really appreciate your viewership as always. Uh, let me know what you think of this vehicle in the comments below. Um, in the description, as I did mention just before, you will find a download link to this vehicle. So definitely recommend that you check it out. It's heaps of fun if you've got BeamNG Drive. If you don't have BeamNG Drive, what are you doing? Go ahead and get BeamNG Drive. It's on Steam. It doesn't cost that much money. It's had heaps of updates over the years and it's still going strong. The dev team's awesome. I can't say enough about this game and I love this car as well. So that's it. So until next time.